everyone, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to the channel. I'm G, this is G's Nail Spot, and this is my hands without gloves on. Woo! So you can see I have got my Madame Glam black lace Valentine's nails on, um, which I'm quite loving at the minute. It's a bit different for me. So that's a serious amount of colour for me, you know, but I can cope with red. There's plenty of black on there, so I'm getting through it. No, actually, I love this design. Um, and if you want to see how I did it, go and have a look at my videos. So I did a full video on the Black Lace Valentine's Nails using the Madame Glam House of Love collection. They're lovely. Anyway, so you're probably thinking, my subscribers anyway, and again, thank you for your support, my lovely subscribers. Uh, you're probably thinking, what the Jeff? What the actual Jeff is this? And upload, not on a Monday. It's not a Monday today. No, it is not. Um, I decided to do a little little midweek special for you guys. Um, I've had a big haul delivery and because I'm not sure when the sale is going to end, I thought I better get this uploaded as soon as possible just in case you guys like what you see and you want to get on there and grab some bargains. Now, as far as I can tell, these are uh, the sale. It's Moe London stamping plates. Woo you know, I love my stamping. Um, as far as I can tell, the sale's going to carry on until they've kind of sold out. I can't find a, a, an end date for the sale. They're just saying until units are gone, as far as I can see. But it's a really good sale. Everything's down to like two, two pounds. Not everything, but a lot of the stamping plates are down to two pounds a plate, which is an absolute bargain. And I can't resist a bargain and I can't resist a stamping plate. So I had no chance. <laughs> But I've also realized I've never done a stamping plate haul video with you guys. I've bought so many stamping plates. You guys know I love, love, love stamping. But I've never done a haul video for my stamping plates. And I always order a shed load. Whenever I buy some, I don't just buy one or two. I buy a shed load. And I just never thought to video. Because I never thought you guys would be that interested. But I thought I'd take a chance. So don't forget to drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this. Do you like to see my stamping plate hauls? Because I do... I do tend to get one or two. Um, and don't forget, if you enjoy this video, give it a like. Okay, let's crack on because I've got quite a few plates to go through. And I've not just got Mary London stamping plates. I've got some that I bought on whatsupbeauty.com a few weeks ago, but they took forever to arrive. They took like five weeks to arrive. Um, normally it's around two weeks, but there was a bit of a mess up with my delivery, unfortunately, on their part. But they're here now and that's all that matters and I love them so I'm going to show you them at the end as well but anyway I'm going to stop waffling and waving my hands about and let's get, get on to some of these stamping plates I can't wait to show you guys so in no particular order um arabesque I've never had any plates from this particular collection before um Leila Leila Mosaic Maniac um these if you can see uh, all different Egyptian style patterns. I adore anything Egyptian. I've never actually been to Egypt, but I adore anything Egyptian. I've got Egyptian things that people have brought me back from Egypt, and I will go there one day. It's on my bucket list. Um, but I just love like, like I love that a lot. And I've got another stamping plate from Clear Jelly Stamper that's got Egyptian stuff on it as well. And I've never used it. I bought that about a year ago. Um, so I am going to do some Egyptian nails very very soon. And like I say, all of these plates that I'm going to show you are all £2. I don't pay more than £2 for stamping plates. So, Gothic Collection, Raven. I like a bit of Raven, the Gothic girl. Uh, these, hopefully you can see these because I've not peeled the protective film off. Because I never do until I use them. Uh, and then I give them a little clean before I use them. But you can see there's all kind of like, I love that score. It's all lace patterns on these, some bats. Everybody can see those bats. Oh, we can see the LED strip light. But yeah, lots of lace and other spooky things on there. I am loving, loving that and the crosses. Loving that one. I've got a couple of the gothic plates, actually. I think you'll have seen them. I used one in my Rocky Horror Picture Show set. It had the corset stamp on it. So gothic ones are and really nice ones to look out for if you liked those. Um, I'm going to leave the themed ones till the end. So, you guys know me. I'm just your average little goth witchy girl. So I couldn't resist this. This is from the festive collection. So generally any kind of holiday or anything. Um, and I've had my eye on this one for a while. And it finally dropped into the £2 sale. Here we go. Halloweeny. 
but I'm saying Halloweeny. Comes under Halloween, but look at this. It's got all sorts of witchy stuff on there. You've got Ouija board stuff. You've got cats, crystals, potions. I'm loving the cats. Look at those. You know, some really cool patterns. The moth. Um, this school one here is really good. The repetitive school pattern. Hats. Oh, so much on there. I'm dying to use that one. Love that. It's probably one of my favourites. And the other Halloween one is this one. This is number nine. I've already got all the others because I picked all those up in a sale just after Halloween. Um, whoops. Dropping things everywhere. So, yeah. Halloween stamping plate. You can see, again, witches, potions, skulls, ghosts. That little ghost is quite cool. Leave some autumn -y stuff on there as well. Witchy girl. Pumpkin spiders, all that good stuff. All that stuff that I love. So those two are probably my favourites. This one is rather lovely though. Fall in love collection. So the fall being autumn. And this is really cool. Look at all the cool stuff on here. It's like really, I mean, is that a little, oh, it's a little gonky thing. Them gnomes, gonks, whatever you call them. <laughs> so we've got butterflies. Find my soul in the forest. I'd love to go wandering around in the forest. Oh, is that another? Another gong. All kinds of look. Rabbits, tree stumps, fairies, owls. Very um, woodland tales. Not sure what that is. Is that a, is that a fox? Like a f foxy thing? Okay. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. And lovely pumpkin pattern there. Love that. So that is a really nice one. If you're not so much... Halloween but you like the whole sort of folklore -y side of it that is a really good one I've not got any of those from that collection either so that one was new for me and uh, moving on henna so jasmine the desert vibe girl not got any from this collection but I just rather liked these patterns so as you'd imagine they're like henna style mandala typical stuff but they're gonna look really cool on some nails just love the vibe of the patterns and again they're always going to look good in black <laughs> and you live my life everything looks good in black so on to Suki and I've got one of Suki's plates and the Suki plate I've got is like a, an overall picture uh, plate where it's just one big picture um but I think this one's yeah this one's all individual but how cute are these I mean, you've got like, let's do it this way. Like, so that one, you've got like fishes, like um, goldfish. And you got the little cat, the Good Fortune cat. That reminds me of the perfume bottles that Gwen Stefani released when she was doing the Harajuku, Harajuku, Harajuku girls. I'm not sure if I've said that right now. <laughs> anyway, you guys know what I mean. She, she did some perfume bottles that look like that. And you got little rabbits. And some other really cool patterns. I thought they were marijuana leaves. I mean, they might be. Could be anything you like. Any kind of leaf, I guess. <laughs> See where my thinking was there. But anyway, moving swiftly on. That daisy pattern's quite catchy. I'm not sure I'd use it, but I like it. I don't know. Anyway, Suki. That's Suki for you. So... Enchanted, I've actually got a couple of these. They're very cute, very twee. Um, Lily the Enchanted. Let's have a look. This is plate 01. And they're all kind of like little woodland creatures. If you can see that, look. You've got hedgehogs and foxes and badgers. Skunk. Is that a skunk? I think it's a skunk. Rabbits. Cat thing. <coughs> Not sure what that is. Is that a it's like a koala. I'm not sure why you'd get a koala. I thought these were woodland creatures. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. Drop a comment. What is this creature here? <laughs> so that's the Enchanted Collection number one. They're all like it. Like I said, I've got a couple more plates of these. And they're all generally the same thing. Same style, sorry. But just different creatures. So that's that one. Very whimsical. There you go. Word of the day. Whimsical. <laughs> Um, right, I've got a couple that are very similar here. Let's try and grab hold of them. I haven't got anything from uh, either of these collections. So I've got Lace and Fashionista. Nina, Lace is more, and Coco, Fashionista. Now they're both lacy 
design plates. And as you can see on the nails I am currently wearing, <laughs> I do loves me some black lace. <laughs> Not the musical duo. I have to keep stressing that. Anyway, uh, not that there's anything wrong with Black Lace, the musical duo, but when I'm talking about Black Lace, this is what I mean. Anyway, back to the plate. There are some beautiful Black Lace, not Black Lace, you can have it any colour you want, but I will mainly be doing it black. Although white on black, gold on black might look good, silver on black. Um, but yeah, some fantastic lacy patterns on that one. It's a good one to get if you like doing nails, kind of like these with the laces. Uh, and this one's very similar. It's not the same. <laughs> but very similarly these are bigger actually i think aren't they let's just have a quick look yeah so you can see that's why i got them look there's um the different sizes so you've got 12 large so they would be better for bigger nails and then you got uh what we got there 18 18 smaller lace designs so you'd have to maybe do it twice if you had a large nail or just do it at the top of the nail maybe like that so yeah so that was why i bought those two really love those I, oh, I love stamping the lace pattern anyway moving swiftly on alice i have got an alice plate um alice in wonderland it is and it got some really cool patterns on for like the queen of hearts and stuff but this is what i mean by a full picture plate so this is plate seven and it's just the whole rabbit but there are so many textures on this plate look at those you've got like this kind of baroque design here the rabbit himself has got all different textures on his jacket from clocks to rabbits um to um baby rabbits to carrots all sorts and then you've got all these here all the different time pieces and rabbits up there i thought they might be quite handy for easter as well easter bunnies but I've been wanting to do an Alice in Wonderland set for so long because I've got the other plate and I've got a few charms and things that look fabulous. So maybe that'll be on the horizon. Stay tuned. Like I say, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any future videos from me and you might see an Alice in Wonderland set coming soon. Anyway, we're nearly there. A few more. So Sailor. I love these. Olive the Sailor. I have quite a few of the Sailor ones because I do love ocean themed nails i have loads of these sailor plates and i've probably only used one or two and um, this is the problem when you have lots of something you never get around to using them all but i love this plate this is slightly different um to the other sailor plates because you've got quite some quite big designs here like look at all these beautiful sort of stars you've got a bit of a compass going off Got one of my favourite sea creatures right here, a narwhal. <laughs> Who doesn't love a narwhal? An old uh, grizzly fisherman here. But yeah, some lovely, really nice designs on that one. I'm loving the whales and the seahorse. Yeah, can't wait to get that one on the go. So that's the Sailor Collection 1818. Okay, next. Now, this is a new one for me. I don't know if it's a new collection or just I've never seen it before. I haven't got any other uh, plates from it. It's called Porcelain. Grace, the porcelain girl. There she is. Um, but actually, I liked it because it's got these really cute um, oriental scenes. Well, I think they look oriental anyway. Really nice. Because you've got sort of a crane and water there. There's a bit of cherry blossom here. More cherry blossom. And then... Um, Oh, pagodas. Is that the right name for the little oriental looking uh, structures? Bamboo. More cranes. Or is it herons? I don't know. Get them mixed up. <laughs> but uh, yeah, some really lovely oriental themes there. Really like that one. Definitely worth two quid. Right. The last one from the non-film themed stuff, because I've got some film themed ones. I don't actually know why I put this one in, Princess. Again, <laughs> funnily enough, I've got no other princess plates. Uh, Lee, the princess, or that could be Leah, but I think Leah would have an H on the end, so I'm gonna go with Lee. Um, and it's these, they're almost like cartoony stars. Can you see? I thought they might be good for fireworks, New Year, celebration nails, but some hearts. Hearts in a lot of them. Hearts and stars mainly. But yeah, they remind me of kind of cartoony 
um, patterns. Thought that one looked a bit tattooy actually. Tattooy? Is that a word? No, it's not. Just made it up. Because that's what I do. If you don't know the word, make one up. So, <laughs> I thought they were pretty cool. We'll see. We'll see if I can get anything out of them. You never know, because you guys know I don't really do cutesy things. But you never know. I might have a theme or something that I need to do. So I'm just ripping up my little paper background. This is what happens when you've got stiletto nails. Even though they're short, they're still like claws. Anyway, moving on. Um, I've got some film themed ones now. So I got the Universal Monsters because I've already got some of these. Uh, and these two I didn't have. So I thought I'm going to grab them while they're two quid. So I've got number five, which is the Wolfman. And I've actually got a feeling, because I have got about three or four of these already. I've got a horrible feeling. I've not checked that I've already got this one. <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled for a giveaway that I might do in a little bit later this year, because this will probably be in it if I have already got it. But as you can see, it's got all Wolfman stuff on here. Everything from howling to moons to trees, all that jazz. You're into your um, old school horror films like me. And then I've got number six, which is the Frankenstein plate. So I've got the Bride of Frankenstein plate. I know that, um, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get this one. So this is mainly Frankenstein, but there's some Bride on there as well. But yeah, very cool. I love these. Might do one of those, might do a, a Universal Studios Monsters set. So they were good. And I got another Jaws plate because I've already got some Jaws plates. So I've not got this one, number four. And uh, because this has got some really cool sort of full cover patterns here with sharks. That'd be good for Shark Week as well, whenever that is. I never know when that is. <laughs> Can never remember. Um, but yeah, I love this that you could do those over different nails if you really wanted to. But yeah, I'm loving the sharks. I do love sharks. Again, I'm all about the water. I do love the water, anything water themed, even sharks. Even Jaws, even though when I first watched Jaws, uh, when I was little, it scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> it didn't stop me going in the water, but it did bother me for quite a while. Um, but no, it didn't stop me going in the water at the seaside, because I love that. But yeah, Jaws, honestly. E.T. I have got one of these plates, but not this one. Of This is number one. This is kind of cute. There's a lot of writing stamps on here. And I thought they could come in handy for other things. But it's much better when the film's not blue. You can see it a lot better, can't you? <laughs> but this is probably why some people wonder why it doesn't work when they do it, because they've left the film on. It's because it's this clear film. And you can't always tell that it's got the film on. But that's probably why. One of the reasons, if you're trying to stamp and it's not working, it's probably because the film's on there. Yeah, it's definitely there. Anyway, there's E.T., another retro retro film for y'all. And then finally, from the MoU London £2 plate stamp, I got these two Looney Tunes. I could not resist. I don't normally do cartoony type nails, but I just couldn't resist because these guys were my absolute favourite when I was a kid. So this guy in particular, I'm sure many of you all remember Marvin the Martian. Marvin the Martian. <laughs> that was my really rubbish impression. But I loved him. He was great, Marvin the Martian. But there's some really cool, like, spacey uh, stamps on there as well. So not just Marvin the Martian, but, oh, I love him. He's great. So he was one of my favourites. I'll keep doing this. Look, I'm wrecking this background. And then also... Um, Wiley Coyote and Roadrunner. Love those two guys. Couldn't get enough of those when I was little. Always watching it. Love those guys. Poor old Wiley Coyote. Never got a break, did he? Could never get a break. That old Roadrunner just kept rubbing it in. <laughs> but yeah, some really cool little signs. Acme everything. <laughs> so that's fab. So if you're in your Looney Tunes, go and grab these. Because these are like a bargain for £2. So that's the little pile of Moe London stamping plates, like I said. And then I finally did get my haul um, through from What's Up Beauty, these guys. So they popped a little note in saying thank you. Um, that's where you can get the, the plates I'm about to show you from, whatsupbeauty.com. 
I haven't got anything on the bank. They do other stuff though. Apparently they do like makeup as well. I didn't look at the makeup when I was on there, but uh, they do polishes. I'd have loved to have got some polishes, but I think it really pushes the shipping up when you buy polishes as well. So I just stuck to getting plates. But anyway, um, so this, I have never had a plate from these people, CADS. I've never actually heard of them. If anybody else has ever heard of CADS, drop me a comment below, tell me what you think. And um, this is the first plate I've had from them, but it is such a cool plate. I couldn't resist. Now, these plates I did get in there sale but it won't be on anymore i'm pretty sure i didn't check but i'm pretty sure it won't be on anymore because like i say these were five weeks ago <laughs> when i ordered them at least in fact i've, I've had them open nearly a week so it'll be more like six weeks since i ordered but anyway how cool are these mystical stamping designs love these you've got all sorts on here you've got sort of pentagrams moons just super mystical loving them love 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 all of these can't wait to have a go with those i hope it's a good plate oh i don't know tara over at bases load of lacquer she buys from this company quite a lot she gets a lot of stamping plates so tara tell me is cads any good are they i get the feeling they're like an old older company probably one of the first companies that did plates but we didn't get this company in the uk anyway moving on so i've got a couple of say a couple yeah a couple of plates here that are their own brand. So these are What's Up Nails stamping plates. And I was super gel because I saw that Tara had got this plate right when mine was on order. And I was so upset because so, oh, I want it now. But anyway, this is What's Up Nails plate B072. And you've got like, oh, things are reflecting. You've got Creepy Clown. I'm not into Creepy Clowns. But some really cool mystical stuff. Got Headless Horseman. Bats. My absolute favouritest thing in the world. Love my bats. Some really creepy flowers. Look at those. Frankensaw. <laughs> Unicorn skeletons. Just lots of creepy stuff. I am loving. What is that? Ooh, voodoo dolls. <laughs> so that's that one. No clowning around. That's what that's called. Sorry. Get it now. It's there. <laughs> And then this one, because this one, I think was like a pound. I'm sure it was like either one or two pounds. So I got it. Um, it's called The Gift of Life, B057. And it's basically something you could use for a gender reveal or um, new mum, new dad, new mum, however. Um, but it's got loads of cool stuff on there for, for a new baby, basically. Even like a little ultrasound. Um, oh, it's a boy, it's a girl, pregnant mummy, little baby, got little bunnies in the clouds, <laughs> stalk, and bears and balloons. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get loads of use out of that. It's probably only going to be if somebody asks me for a set of nails for maybe a gender reveal um, or baby shower something like that so but I thought you know for for what it was less than like I say less than two pound for for that I may as well have it in the collection just in case and then I won't be worrying about what to do if especially if it's a last minute order or something anyway moving on so then I got a couple of maniology plates because again maniology that's the reason I started using what's up beauty um because maniology don't ship to the UK I have no idea why they ship literally everywhere else but not the uk i'm not sure why they don't i did ask them but they never got back to me i sent them an email a nice email but they never got back to me so anyway i found what's up beauty because they had a few maniology plates and they do ship to the uk um they don't have all of them sadly because there's some really nice maniology plates that i would love to get my hands on but i can't find anybody else that stocks some other than maniology it was um i think it was some tarot card set ones but anyway there we go you try so first things first maniology m248 this one is super cool super different because it's all creepy food like sweet treats or lollies but you've got skulls and the cherries then if you can hear my cat in the background he's doing his best to try and get in here he knows he's not allowed in this room because a he scratches the carpet and b he gets floof on all my nails i do allow him in sometimes but um, I have to keep an eye on him. <laughs> anyway, anyway, back to the stamping plate. So, yeah, this is really cool. There's all kinds of creepy sweet treats. Look, lots of skulls and worms. Skullberry. I'm liking the skullberry. That is very cool. 
What else have we got? Creepy Gingerbread Man. School Sunday. That looks like a brain ice cream. <laughs> it just gets creepier the more you look at it. But I'm looking forward to using that. Very different. Very cool. And then the other manology... <laughs> manology was basically like a typography plate. So it's just the alphabet, three different versions of the alphabet. I particularly liked these gravestones. This is why I bought it. I love these gravestones, letters. Uh, and I actually like the spiderweb ones in the middle. The top ones are a bit kooky, kind of like monster ones, but I love the spiderweb and I love these gravestone ones as well. Oh, there's G, love it. So, and they're a decent size as well. Sometimes with typography plates, they're really small and then you find it's really hard to pick them up when you stamp in, but I'm hoping they're going to be pretty cool, pretty good. And last but not least, guys, you'll be pleased to know, because I didn't want this video to go on forever, um, it's an uber chic uh, plate, and you can get uber chic in the UK, actually, but this just happened to be on the What's Up Beauty uh, site in the sale, so I got it, and it's like a Halloween plate. So there is everything. It's quite a big plate, as you can see, compared to um, maybe London. It's a little bit bigger. It's a bit thinner. But there's nothing that doesn't that means nothing. Um, because I've got plates like this. I've got I've had Uber Sheet before and they've stamped very, very well. So I've got high hopes for this. And again, look, more lovely, lovely bats. Bats, 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 bats everywhere. Probably why I got this one. Um, ghosts, skulls. That always reminds me of Walking Dead whenever I see hands like that's gotta be zombies, hasn't it? That's cool. There's a that's a nice big one actually, as well. If you've got a long nail, I mean look. I know I only wear short nails, but that's that's a big stamp there. So you get a nice long nail on that if you wanted to stamp it on a long nail. Some really cool little queen of the Halloween scene. That is my fave. That is what I'm going to have on for Halloween. Because I do feel like I uh, come into my own around Halloween. Oh, look at the little pumpkin row. Love that. All these little cute, cute things down here. Not my scene, but somebody else might like that. Potion. But yeah, a really cool little paint. Uh, paint? <laughs> paint? <laughs> it's because I'm reading these. A cool um, plate is what I meant to say. And that is the last one. So, like I say, that is my little haul. I hope you enjoyed a little, a little look at my little bargains that I got. Um, like I say, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think of these plates, if you've got any, if you're into stamping. I love my stamping. You guys all know from my videos. Most videos have got at least a little bit of stamping in. Um, I try to mix it up a bit, but I just, I love stamping. I love the effect you get. Um, but yeah, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And let me know, is this, do you like seeing videos like this? I know I've never done stamping plate haul videos before. I've done sheen hauls. Because I know that's everybody likes a good sheen haul, but I've never done any of my other hauls. But let me know if you enjoy looking at my little bargain hauls and give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget, like I say, subscribe. It doesn't cost anything, but it really, really helps me out. It helps my channel, supports my channel, means I can still keep doing content every week for you guys and even do little bonus videos like this. <laughs> so love you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.